This video is brought to you by Dibley Create. More about them later in the video. I'm going to write a book in 24 hours or I'll delete the whole thing and start over. Let's get the rules out of the way for this book writing challenge. Rule number one, my book must be at least 25,000 to 60,000 words to be considered a full length book. Rule number two, I must complete the book within one full day with no wiggle room. Rule number three, I have to get an outside party to verify I follow both rules one and two. For that, I'm leaning on USA Today bestselling author and vice president of author success at Draft the Digital, Nick Thacker. You might recognize him from previous interviews on this channel or when I wrapped up my last book writing challenge using the iPhone 7. Yep, Nick is certifiably insane, but I'm going to use his exact blueprint to get this book done in 24 hours. The TLDR is he essentially uses voice dictation for efficiency and for his health to a certain extent. He's written many successful thriller books this way, so I think I could easily duplicate the process with my nonfiction book. Okay, Nick, all I got to do is check in with you, man. I right now have 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I imagine it's 9 a.m. Central. Yes, it is. Okay, let's go ahead and synchronize our watches, and uh, I will follow up with you within the next 24 hours. Beautiful. Good luck, man. I'm wishing you the best. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. Hey, just a little bit of full disclosure here. I actually have done this before, but I did it with typing. Believe it or not, it was a 24 hour book writing challenge when I did Amazon keywords for books. That was back in June of 2020. I did that on my main channel. A lot of people got to join me for that. And that actually went on to win about five book awards. So I'm feeling pretty confident if I can do that, that was 18,000 words within 11 hours. I feel like I could definitely do 25,000 to 60,000 words through voice dictation. So it shouldn't be any type of issue. I'm feeling very confident. I'll check in once I've done about a couple hours of work. See you then. All right, I've just got done doing about, I would say a solid hour or so of work. It hasn't been good. It's been very, very challenging. In fact, it's actually been very demotivating. I find that I'm able to speak to a camera with no issue. That's not, a, not even a problem. So typically transcribing would make the most sense. However, for how much content that I would need to get transcribed, there'd be no way I could be able to make the deadline for the 24 hours. And at the pace that I'm going at, I am literally going slower than how fast I can actually type. There's, there's been a couple times where I have to go back and I've got to correct the word because either it's been the wrong word, like no, as in knowing something and no, as in negative, it was getting the two mixed up. It was capitalizing words randomly. There's a lot of issues when it comes to voice dictation. So this really concerns me because if I want to get this written in the 24 hours, I, I can't be fooling with that type of stuff. And I know it's just a little bit of extra work that I need to do. Oh my gosh, it's, it's been doing me the whole time. I, I had, oh. So at any rate, ah, oh, that's, that's me dying inside right now. All that to say this, that it looks like I'm gonna probably have to go the hard way. I'm gonna probably have to sit down and type this stuff out. This is just not efficient. Not for me right now. I think with a little bit more practice, I could probably do it, but right now it, it's almost like writing with my right hand. I'm left-handed, so it, it would just be so awkward, and that's what it feels like. And every time I've got a thought that I want to say, I get interrupted and I have to say things like period or exclamation point or quotes, and it really slows me down. So for this challenge, you know, if I've got to forego voice dictation, then so be it, because I do have enough content right now that I would be kind of upset that I'd have to delete it. I would rather take my chances with typing the rest of it out because I feel like I can kind of hammer that out. All right, it's almost nine o'clock at night and I started this whole challenge about 10 hours ago. I'm feeling a lot better since transitioning over from doing voice dictation over to typing. It's just flowing out of me so much faster. I haven't been stopped once. I think it's because I'm just so much more used to typing that it just, it's second nature to me. I think had I prepared myself and not overestimated my ability for voice dictation, uh, I probably would have been okay today, but I didn't do any practicing whatsoever. And the last time I did any real voice dictation, I would say it had to have been about 2015, maybe 2016. So it was a long time ago. So lesson learned, I do know that learning from Nick Thacker's Dictation for Authors course 
one of the things he says is you're going to have to practice in order to get better. It's going to feel awkward. And uh, it did feel awkward for me. But as soon as I got into the typing, boom, I started cranking out. So right now I just finished chapter four and that's including the introduction. I've got a total of 12 chapters with the introduction and conclusion included with that. So this means that I'm just roughly shy of halfway through my project. It does provide a little bit of nervousness on my part because I know that I'm probably going to have to burn the midnight oil just a little bit. I'm pretty confident that I should be able to get the five chapters done. I would say anywhere from about another five to six hours. So this is going to probably get me wrapping up. I would say somewhere about two or three o'clock in the morning, possibly I will hit the sack. I will get myself at least five, six hours of sleep, get up, jump right back into it and then finish it up. Hopefully ugh, for a photo finish at 11 o'clock. So fingers crossed. Yes, I've been doing the Pomodoro method, which is 25 minutes of focused work with five minutes of break. After four rounds, you take 15 minutes. I did about four hours and then I took probably about an hour to just sit down with the cats and my wife and we had a meal together and then I just jumped right back into it. I just did two hours after having dinner and now I'm probably going to jump in and get about another two to four hours before I take myself another break. I've got some snacks set aside so I can kind of keep things fresh. So fingers crossed, I'm still a little bit nervous because we're not in the clear just yet. And I, again, I think it's going to be a photo finish. Well, it's been about 14 hours since I first started this whole writing journey. And uh, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm feeling exhausted for sure. Right now, I've got about roughly three and a half chapters left in the book. I think somewhere shy of about 6,000 words in order to actually fit the 25,000 word minimum that I was shooting for. It looks like I'll definitely pass that. It'll probably be just by just a little bit, by about a bit of a margin. Um, I found one of the chapters was a bit redundant because as I was going through and filling out some stuff, I just eventually saw, I was like, well, I've kind of covered this in the previous chapter, so there's no sense in me being redundant. So thankfully that chopped out one of the chapters there. I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've got much more left in me here tonight. I'll need to at least get myself, I would say five, six hours sleep before I get back up and maybe attack this. I don't know. Maybe I'll just try to push through and finish it out. We'll definitely see, so I'll probably see you in the morning. Wow, it's uh, 7 a.m. I stopped writing right about 3.45 a.m. So I've had just short of about a few hours sleep, courtesy of my uh, cat oh, waking me up partway into trying to get some sleep. I've got two chapters left and about a little over 4,000 words to hit my minimum of 25,000 words. And I got to do that before 11 a.m. It's going to be a tight one. I'm, I'm not lying to you. I finished up this morning thinking, oh, you know, I could probably crank this 4,000 out in about four hours in theory. We'll definitely s certainly see at this point. So the stakes are definitely higher at this point. Rather than bloviting here with you guys, I guess I'll check back in with you when I check in with Nick Thacker at 11 a.m. For this book writing challenge, I've leaned on Dibley Create, my preferred writing tool for books and video production. I handed all the details to the AI assistant Kip, including the audience type, writing type, length, and a brief explanation. Within minutes, Kip gave me the most comprehensive outline I could have ever asked for. The best part is I didn't have to spend hours of prep to get my book just right. Whenever I got stuck, I would type forward slash Kip to get assistance, whether through simple writing, brainstorming, or even choosing from any prompt templates from their library. Dibley Create takes all the guesswork out of using AI, so it's perfect for all writers regardless of their experience in tech. Write your next book with Dibley Create when you visit my affiliate link at dalelinks.com slash Dibley Create and see exactly why I rave about this new platform. I need you to confirm, did you receive the first draft before the 11 a.m. deadline? I did. I got the email. I woke up to it. Um, uh, I got it after, shortly after I woke up, I think. But it was before uh, my 9 a.m., which is the deadline you had set. And it did have a whole book in it. It had an attachment with an entire book. Excellent. Um, did you notice anything? Did you happen to open the manuscript and make sure that it wasn't just a bunch of Ipsum placeholder it's, text? It's not lower Ipsum dummy content. Uh, I did even scroll <laughs> to the end to make sure you didn't do the whole first page is real, the rest are crap trick. Um, <laughs> 
I found myself reading, actually. I found myself, you know, obviously I didn't have time to read the entire thing, uh, you know, yeah. the, the half hour that I had, but uh, I did uh, I did skim through and, and I was like, this is good stuff. This is actually really good. I was surprised that it was dictated because it's usually dictation is a lot rougher. Right. I got through the first two and a half chapters with voice dictation before I ended up switching over to touch typing right? Um, because right. it was so slow. But the next question is, have I satisfactorily completed this book in the allotted 24 hours time? And would you consider it a good first draft? Absolutely. Both. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a good first draft. I want to read it when it's not a first draft anymore. But touch typing, uh, dictation or not, you wrote a book in 24 hours. And uh, that's awesome, regardless of how it gets done. There you have it. I was able to complete my whole book within 24 hours. Sure, I wanted to do voice dictation, and I ended up going to touch typing, but at least I finished the book within 24 hours. What's another book writing challenge you would like to see me do next? Did you catch my first book writing challenge where I used an iPhone 7 over the course of seven days? Take a look in this very next video. And if you've seen that one already, YouTube recommends you check out this next one. I'll see you in either one of those.